Hello everyone. So today while returning from work, I found a laptop at nearby my bus stop. So I felt really glad to see the work and it was really beautiful. And so while seeing that, I decided to make today's tutorial and with the same effect, I will try to make the same in Canva. So I hope you will like this tutorial and let's start with it and for this tutorial I will be choosing Instagram Pro square format as my canvas. First I need to choose a background so for this I will go to elements and I will choose here neon background. Ok, I will go to photos and I will find an image. Ok, I will choose this image and I will just set image as background and I will make it slightly bigger. Ok, so this one is done. Now, I will just open pixels.com to find a perfect picture for us. So this is the picture which I will be using and uh, the link, the download link of this image will be in the description and as you can see it is free to download and as pixels and canva is partnered up so you can directly edit in canva but we want to use the image in a different way. So that's why we will just download it and use it in Canva. So as you can see I have already downloaded it here. Ok so this is the image which I will be using and before that I will choose a good laptop image. And I will go to photos. And this will be the laptop image which I will be using. Ok and I will just crop because I just run the laptop and I will click on BG remover. So as you can see the background is properly removed and, and I will place it in the podium so that the image looks good ok and I will just middle it. So I will use the arrow keys to middle it. And after that, I will just duplicate it to make a shadow of it. Okay. And after that, I will go to Edit, Duotone, Custom, and change both the colors to black. Okay. And after that, I will go to blur go to whole image and use the intensity to be 55 ok so this one is done so after that just click uh, right click it and go to layer and send to back ok so as uh, you are as you can see a uh, uh, shadow is created just work on the keyboards keys to just work on the laptop screen so that the image is properly adjusted ok and a shadow is created but we will work slightly on the transparency bar so for that I will just work on it Ok, so 65 looks good. 
okay so 55 will be the transparency here and after that I will just bring the image here but make sure you are just not drag and dropping here because it will then attract the frame and the laptop will get removed so to avoid that we will click on undo and just click on the image to bring it on the frame ok so before doing that just use the scales to adjust the laptop screen just zoom it if you are facing some problem to adjust the scales because with this laptop screen effect or the screen size you will be adjusting the image ok now we will bring the image here and we will just make it bigger so that it looks good with the image ok so this is the image let's make it slightly bigger ok so this one looks good now we will crop out the parts which are just outside the scale part ok and now I will duplicate the image ok just keep it aside and now we will just crop out the main image and in the duplicate image part we will just place it in the scale and use the bg remover option and as you can see the background is properly removed and uh, we also want to add a outline but after the canva glow up feature after the application of the canva outline which is available in edit option or in shadows uh, the glow option is not looking good so i have already found a solution for you so the solution is just you need to duplicate the background remove part again and go to edit click on duotone and this time I will go and make both the colors to white ok and blur effect to 65 ok so this one is done now I will just make it bigger ok just decrease the transparency a bit and make it bigger again so that it covers the image ok so this one looks good and after that just go to layers click on show layer just put it behind the option of this background removed image and after that make sure when you are just putting it below just crop out till the laptop edge just zoom it so that you can find easily the laptop edge and this is where you adjust and this is the image and this is the pop out image a really good looking image as you can see in here and you can also design it with your own style your own look and I hope this tutorial is easy for you to follow and if you want to change the color of the background you can also do that just go to edit and again go to duotone and you can easily change it to any color you want as the background was matching with the background of the main image so I kept the same otherwise I would have also changed it